Hi. Today we will build the graph of a quadratic function. But before, I would like to talk a bit about general function. Suppose yes, I have a function f of x, and I ask a question: How would look a graph of function f of x minus d? Well, d is a constant number. And uh, my claim is that this will be a graph of the same form, only shifted uh, right uh, on D. Let me plot it, and then we will discuss. I claim that graph will look in this way, exactly the same form. Why it is so? Let's check, for example, a point x0. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, my function f of x is also 0. I, j I just took it, for example, I built it in this way, but it's not necessary. Uh, what will be here if uh, x equal to d? Uh, the argument of the function will be 0, and the function itself will be zero. So at least uh, we see that the bottom point is shifted by d. But uh, we can do a similar check for other points as well. Uh, now let me ask one more question. How will look a graph of f of x minus d plus h? Another constant h. And uh, I claim that the graph will have exactly the same form, only shifted uh, uh, upwards by h. Here is h. Uh, I'm not sure how my plot is successful. Uh, the difference h uh, will be everywhere. This difference should also be h. So, <laughs> scaling of my plot is not very successful, but you understand what, what I mean. Uh, how can I see this? This is f of uh, x minus z plus h. Uh, let's, for, for example, check uh, at the bottom point. Uh, when x, uh, x is equal to d, uh, f of x minus d is 0, and uh, total value will be h. But uh, we can do similar check for other points as well. Now, suppose that my function f of x is a basic quadratic parabola, y is e equal to x squared. Then uh, the general parabola x minus d squared plus h will be just uh, shifted appropriately. Uh, the problem, the only problem is that uh, the standard uh, way to write quadratic function is uh, like here. Uh, y is x squared plus px plus q. Uh, we, we take the, the case when coefficient before quadratic term is 1. It's easy to develop formulas, but uh, we can follow a similar uh, approach for general function as well. Uh, how would I build graph of this function? I, I could take uh, various points x, uh, compute y, and uh, put uh, points on the plane x, y, and uh, connect them with a curve. And this will be a, my graph. But I, I can act in a different way. I, I can ask whether can I convert this form into, into this, which is uh, convenient for uh, building plot. Uh, let's do it. It's rather simple. We just open the parenthesis. Uh, we get uh, x square uh, minus 2dx plus d square plus h. And uh, in order 
those two quadratic functions be equal, uh, coefficients before quadratic term, a linear term and the constant uh, term should be the same. So before quadratic term we have the same coefficient, before linear term we need uh, p to be equal to minus 2d and uh, constant term uh, is like here. Let's write it down. Uh, p equal to minus 2d and uh, q equal d squared plus h. I should remind you that we are interested to find the d and h in order to build graph of our quadratic function. So d can be easily expressed from the first equation d equal minus p divided by 2 and uh, h h from second e equation is equal to q minus d squared and if we substitute a value for d we get h equal q minus p squared divided by 4. Now, having a quadratic function in standard form, we know how to build this parabola, we know how to compute d and h. Based on this approach, we can not only build a graph of quadratic function, but also can say something about solution of quadratic equation x squared plus px plus q equal to zero. For example, in the case when h is positive, as I built here in my example, uh, the plot of my function is all above uh, x-axis. It never intersects it. It, uh, so th there are no axes that this expression is equal to zero. There are no equation, no solutions to this equation, no roots. In the case uh, when h is equal to zero, my uh, quadratic parabola will uh, touch x-axis at the point d. This is case h equal to, to 0. And my equation will have the only root x equal to d. In the case when uh, h is smaller than 0, when h is negative, the plot of my parabola will look in this way. The minimal point will be uh, here at d, x equal d, and uh, this value here will be h, and h is negative now, and the uh, parabola will cross x axis in two points, x1 and x2, they are roots of my equation. And uh, I suggest you to think at home. Uh, how, given d and h, can I compute the roots x1 and x2? Thank you.